afternoon, uh, this is Jesse and um, the Chinook got released from Miltex Simulations, the CH47D. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be having a quick uh, look at it. <coughs> Hopefully I can lift off. I'm very bad at flying helicopters, so please take that into account. Sorry. Um, yeah, so maybe let's go into... Let's go into drone view first. Where is my camera, camera, camera? Showcase. Yes. Come on. Let's have a look at this baby. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful aircraft. Well, can I just let me turn down the zoom speeds and the rotation speeds of the drone so we can have a better, better look? Okay. Yeah. Oh, drone speed is still too too high. Come on. I want it to. Okay, so it's now a little slower. Okay, yeah. The Chinook tandem rotor. Military helicopter, obviously. And this is one of the default liveries. This is the US Army Green livery. Nice, nice, nice. When I already loaded in, I could see. The rudder pedals had some effect. Do we see them moving from the outside? No, we don't see them moving now. So let's get in back into maybe it is only from the external view that they are visible. Yes, here. Ah, so in the drone view they are not visible. But see when I move my pedals. Everything is visible even from the outside. <coughs> uh, paddles is a standard. Uh, the, the, mm, the documentation actually has the complete uh, keybinds which you should use, but this is just uh, basically the rotor axis, uh, the, ta uh, the tail, uh, tail stabilizer axis. Um, actually, they have. Let me check. Let me check. They have in the documentation recommended hardware. Um, directional panels, rotor axis, yeah, rudder axis or tail rotor axis. So basically, I have it uh, configured in a standard way. I actually copied um, the um, I copied the whole setup from uh, from the hype performance group uh, H145, which I also have. So let me just check uh, what do I have assigned. Uh, this is something specific to the H145 primary control. So we have the elevator axis assigned, the aileron axis assigned. This is just standard. It can be cyclic longitudinal uh, and cyclic lateral if you want to. Uh, Set it somewhere else, somehow else, and just the trims. The trims, the trims are assigned, and this is actually it. Yeah, and the collective, the collective is assigned here. Uh, power management, collective axes. This is this one. It's not moving currently, but this is collective axis it doesn't matter if it is uh, on throttle or on collective but you should not assign it to a uh, helicopter throttle because it doesn't have any effect uh, on this uh, on this aircraft so either keep it on throttle axis or collective axis okay 
nice nice i really really like the details on this all the rivets yeah everything yeah you can see everything moving from the outside Um, by the way, uh, I'm also using, um, here at the moment is maybe a little quite of a mismatch because I'm on the uh, HMS uh, Prince of Wales uh, carrier, which is also a Miltec product. Um, I have all of them, but I just uh, spawned on this carrier because this is uh, um, the position is actually next to Gibraltar, and um, we I have the amphibious ready group, uh, which is somewhere there in the Gibraltar Strait or there. Um, then there is this carrier here uh, next uh, to the um, to the island or to the uh, to the peninsula, and somewhere out in the uh, Mediterranean there is a moving carrier. So there are actually three locations quite close by, and also some uh, some airports uh, right in the vicinity. So I hope I'll be able to take off and uh, fly a bit. Uh, bear in mind, I'm okay. Why is my camera reset position button not working? Oh, actually, this is not the wrong one. <laughs> That's why it's not working. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, let's have a look through the cockpit. There is the center panel. We can zoom in. There is also some... Ah, yeah, there is uh, some views. I have no idea what anything does. I'll be having uh, a look later on when I start it up. Let's reset the view for a moment. Okay, this... Get rid of my screen. Okay, so this is the main panel. I'll be checking on the assignments. What do I have to assign these to? Or probably I'll just uh, go on on the joystick. I have quite a lot of controls on my joystick, but I'll I'll, I'll be reading through uh, what should be actually assigned if you want to successfully fly this plane. There is cargo hook release. This will be probably something as well for this, for cargo, for cargo operations. Uh, centering device release, okay. Okay, fire panel. Let's, okay, go back here. Fire panel, fire emergency, radios. Anything interesting here? Just the standard displays. No idea what is supposed to be here. I'm not uh, really good in helicopters in general. The pedals are moving. I always like. Uh, I I know this is this is standard on most of the planes, but I'm just. Happy to see some stuff. Okay, this is for the searchlights. That's for RPM. No idea if this is mm, modeled. This maybe something for the lights. We'll check later on. Power central panel cyclic trim. This is for the ACFS, which is not completely integrated as far as I, I uh, recall. The, that ACFS is the autopilot. And here we have the overhead, hoist control, cable, hydraulics, APU, battery. Battery. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, How do we start this? Pre-start. EAPS engine fan. Engine fan. Looks like this one. Closed. Closed. Yep. External lights. Do we need external lights? Where is the light panel? This is the battery. This is generators, compass. Um, yeah, this is my first look on this uh, plane. Also, I'm not really checking 
Uh, I'm not reading uh, Twitch uh, messages at the moment. Let me let me have just quick. I forgot to turn on the overlay. Why is my overlay not working? Oh, profiles, well, profiles, new profile, overlay. Ah, here is the overlay, and it is in a bad position. That's why I'm not seeing it. Uh, one second. Reset position, and I need to toggle positioning mode. Yeah, I need to change my overlay position. Done and. Okay, yeah, now I could now I can see. So uh, external lights. Where are the external lights on this? Fadec, hydraulics, battery, electric. That no, this is for the generators, uh NDIs, co-pilot lightning, internal lightning, and this is this no, this will be for the for the central. Uh, 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 uh. Am I dumb? Yeah, I am, but... Uh, I cannot see where I should uh, turn on the lights. <laughs> troop lightning. Heating. No, this is troop war night. Let me check, let me check. Main instrument panel, no, there is no... There is an overview on the main inst for the main instrument panel, pilot side instrument panel, co-pilot side, overhead. No, the documentation is not completely ready yet. <coughs> so these are definitely internal lights. These are stick lights this, these are these are the center console lights for ah position anti-collision okay formation light position this is position light top bottom let's see did we turn it on formation light this is the brightness of the formation line. Probably we don't have to. Uh, the, why we don't have? Uh, uh, we probably should turn on the battery first. I saw the battery. Battery on. Okay. Ah, see. Batteries. Okay, co-pilot light as required. Compass switch. Compass switch. What do we mean? What did he mean by compass switch? It is as required, so let's uh, skip it for now. Troops warning switch on for 10 seconds. Let's see, troop, troop, troop warning light. on for 10 seconds cabin temperature as required okay okay let's go power startup battery is on caution light switch which will be which one? I need to open this in a second. Uh, nah, but the overhead is not. Uh, <sighs> caution light switch. Caution, 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 caution light switch. Where is the caution light switch? Maybe it's the one on the. No, this is. Ah, here. See? Caution lights. Test. Test, yeah, okay, this is this one. See, let's go to bright, okay, see, 
APU switch to run. APU switch to start. And the APU starts spinning up. APU generator switch on but do I do I have to I probably have to wait until it Hydraulic power transfer switch. Parking brake. Parking brake, parking brake. Set. Fadek backup power. On. Engine control levers, condition levers, both stop. E apps, fan switch, both on. Okay, now left main fuel pump switch. Where is the fuel pumps? Left main, left. Left main fuel pump. Okay, we have. Aft main, forward main, on, fuel cross open, okay, yeah, so let's main forward. <laughs> Uh, engine condition lever 1, G and D. Start engine 1, on. Where is start? Cargo hook hoist. Also not here. <laughs> See, this is no. This is this is for the autopilot. This is air control, uh, radios, engine, 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 engine. NDIs, pilot lighting, internal lighting, lighting, formation, co-pilot, compress, heating, electrics. This this is for the fuel pumps. But where is this 
this turn 9 fuel tank. Cannot find the engine starter. Start engine one. No, I cannot put it into right because this is the wrong position here. It should be start engine one. <coughs> Only after. After, but I cannot find the engine starters. If you is running, definitely. <gasps> Caution lights. No, this is for radios. This is for trims. stupid I can't find the engine starters let's see if this plane has a PDF PDF manual blah 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 still under construction uh, overview cockpit main instrument panel no, this is just pilot side instrument panel, doesn't have any, also doesn't have any overhead panel. Am I stupid? I cannot find the engine starter. They are on the top above you, yeah, uh, on the overhead. But which one? Engine start! This! <gasps> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one more notch uh, after uh, the. Mm, this should be at the next step. Okay, engine one, all transmission pressure, okay, this is a little bit too loud, okay, I need to see for the engine pressure, all pressure, all transmission pressure. is the transmission oil pressure this is this one it should be above 7 psi is it okay it's rising up ah this was 5 this was 7 7 psi okay after now, after this is at 7 psi, condition to. F Let's see, come on! Ah, flight. Now, engine generator 1 on. Engine condition lever 2 to ground. And now, start engine. Okay, 
okay second one is starting now we can Change based on the uh, oh, it is changing. Okay, uh, this is test. This is forward transmission, aft transmission, mix, left and right. So okay, so let's okay. This is this is working and generator two, and we can switch the AQ generator to off. Now the ATU to off. Fuel pumps all on. Parking brake lever off. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I got the engine started. Okay, but what I actually wanted to do beforehand is to check the EFP down the volume a little bit okay uh, map so I can see a map here okay we have a map we have load okay internal ex internal or external ah yeah okay we can um, this is the fuel this is missions Rescue hoist military exercise. Let's open all the doors now. Top, open, slide, config, show the GPS. Let's have a look from the outside now how it looks. There is a Humvee inside now because I loaded it. Are the cargo hoists? This is uh, side doors open. It's a little nice one. Let's go back inside. Loads. Ah, okay, so this this I can change. Okay, let's change it to uh, okay. Close the hook doors. Close the doors. Okay, and let's see evacuation. Wow. Okay, so this the medivac pallet look. Medivac setup. Oh, okay. <coughs> Also, this is only evacuation with two stretchers and six people, medics or yeah, or just some personnel. And the other one is a boat. We can have a boat. Oh, yeah, a rib. Then troops. Just some cargo. Okay. So let's go with let's go with the Humvee. Let's keep the Humvee. Let's see. Okay, and what the guy said. Okay, my touch screen is not really working. Uh, it is working, but it's not really reacting correctly. Because I didn't uh, use uh, the pop-out panel manager. Whoa, okay, ha! Ah. I will not be taxiing. Uh, there is something. Okay, I'll not be. I'll, I'll not be taxiing currently. So I'll let that. Power steering, power steering. Where is the power steering switch? Where's the power steering? 
doing a search. Power steering. Power. Oh, actually, there was something in the quick start guide. Power. Not the quick start guide. Hardware configuration. Power steering on the. Cyclic trim switch. Cyclic trim switch I saw on the overhead. Cyclic. Oh uh, no, it was. Uh, cyclic trim is on auto. Okay, so let's try. Let's try to get her into the air. this default view okay okay one moment Okay, well, there is no wind, but it's still pulling me a little bit. Okay, I need to have a little more pitch on this, or otherwise... Well, yeah, okay, learning to control helicopters is... something which you have to learn. Especially those more manual ones. Okay, now I'm flying backwards. Okay, let's go try to fly to the ground, uh, to city there. No, I won't be trying to land on one of those smaller ships. Gibraltar Airport. Yeah, I'm passing. I'm actually passing. I shouldn't be passing here because I'm overflying the uh, entry corridor into the airport. Okay, nice and steady. We are about 100 knots. Let's reduce that a little bit. And we are sinking.
Well, I'm not a real uh, helicopter guy, but uh, it does react quite nice, Dwayne. Um, and also, I don't really fly <laughs> uh, planes with uh, standard six pack, so I'm not used to uh, to aircraft without electronic displays. Uh, the only annoying thing is that I cannot pop them out. That's uh, that's uh, the reason. But I do like how she handles so far. I'm, let's see if I'll be able to uh, to land her and not crash her. Because normally I have um, another screen below my uh, my monitor where I'm used to pop out uh, all the instruments and here in this case I don't have them obviously yeah well I started and <laughs> I didn't crash yet it's actually handling better than the um, than the Airbus helicopter Try to land it somewhere. Yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm flying sideways. I think I'm flying sideways. Yeah, I definitely flying sideways. Yeah, me neither. I don't fly helicopters really. I'm definitely flying sideways. Let's see if I can correct this. Yeah, because I'm. I, I don't really have any indicator uh, on the No, she handles brilliantly. But also because I um, changed my springs in my joystick to a very light spring. I have a VKB. Um, what made me get this uh, this one? Basically, I, I have the uh, the Osprey from Miltech, and I love uh, how the Osprey handles. It's a definitely more complicated uh, toy. Uh, also, I have the carriers from uh, from Miltech, and I just thought that the, that the Chinook will be a nice addition. Okay, let's try to land on this field or whatever this is. It's probably a solar farm so I don't know if I should... Okay, I'm definitely going sideways now and I don't see any indicators other than... Okay... It's definitely a little bit too fast. Rotating on my axis. Okay, let's try to kill the velocity somehow. Almost at zero, and the vertical velocity is seems good for me. At least that's would be which would be on the limit on the vortex ring state for uh, for the Airbus helicopter, which I flew. little bit too fast on the descent there. Yeah, I cannot miss this huge field, or actually there are solar panels, I probably shouldn't be landing on those. Okay, let's... Whoa, a little bit too... Yeah, too much, too much inputs, too much inputs, too much inputs. A short joystick isn't really something. Uh, come, on. Come, on, come, on, come 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 on. Okay, yeah, I didn't crash. 
I don't know if this is a success. This is uh, this field is not really. Uh, uh, good to miss. Yeah, and there is uh, there is no weather. I have turned off all the weather settings just in case. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get back to the carrier. This will be interesting. Okay, let's use the tow brakes. Release the tow brakes. A little more on the drop, on the collective here, and. And I'm already picking up speed. Should I trim it? Oh, this was a little bit too much trim. Yeah, I need to learn to fly helicopters. It's probably a good idea to uh, to learn it. Because my reactions are uh, mostly for planes. Also, for flying a helicopter, I definitely should uh, mount the, my joystick in some other way, so that I have at least maybe a longer, um, longer arm. Maybe this would improve it somehow. Okay, just this. Oh, the trims, actually. Yeah, I should... I should definitely try to trim it somehow. Maybe this will improve. No, this is too much. Okay, so the trim is very sensitive. Oh, there is the carrier group. They're on the left behind this uh, peninsula. Yeah, I'm, I'm overflying the, uh, the airport, uh, the, the, the approach path. <laughs> yeah, so definitely, uh, definitely a step... Okay, what happens if I change the trim to manual? Okay, this is... Okay, 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 and this is the trims. I'm now not not using the joysticks, I'm using uh, the, the joystick axis, I'm using the trim buttons. Oh, okay, so this is different. Hands free, not touching the controls at the moment, only clicking the, the trim buttons. Okay, let's slow down. Yeah, but it feels like it feels like the trim is. Uh, doing a small click and it's really okay it's slowing down again and now I will try to land on the carrier which is a definitely a much uh, smaller target than the field I landed on I'm sorry I destroyed some solar panels no green energy for your Gibraltar One thing, controls. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Why is my landing gear? Why is the. Can you actually uh, close the landing gear? This is something which I need to check. CH47D landing gear. Landing gear. Does it have a, a retractable landing gear? Non-retractable. Come on, stupid. Of course. Okay, sorry. The Chinook obviously doesn't have a retractable landing gear, so... Yeah, thank you. 
so I can click my button all the time. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Going to the outside view, there is the carrier group. Whoa, 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 my pitch is bad here. Um, okay, let's slow down a little bit, or actually quite... Hello, uh, shifty mover. Hey, hi. Thanks for tuning in. As you see, I'm bad at flying helicopters and obviously stupid mistake of uh, yeah trying to retract the gear on a aircraft which doesn't. Why do I have engine failures? Why are engine failures? Oh no, EAPS failure. Okay. Um, I spawned at Gibraltar because um, there are three carrier groups uh, in the vicinity. It's actually the only location which has so much uh, different carriers. Uh, no, no, I don't live there. Uh, because I have all the pa all, all the carrier packages uh, from Miltech as well, uh, the the UK carriers, the uh, super carrier, uh, and the amphibious uh, ready group. So here is the um, HMS Prince of Wales static carrier. And I would need to check uh, somewhere in the Gibraltar Strait there is the Amphibious Ready Group, but uh, let me try to land... Ah, I'm sorry. Talking too much and not uh, watching my descent rate. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let's... Yeah... I need to I, I, I need to figure something out about the control uh, about the displays about the instruments I should have there some the, some add-ons which are displaying six packs up outside there it is okay <laughs> okay slowing down and let's also go down. Okay, let's level up at 50 knots and and at 600 fpm descent speed or not, we are actually at the moment at some 30 knots. Where is the carrier? Where is the carrier? There is the carrier. Okay, so let's do it. Hey, thanks Cutlass. Yeah, the Chinook stream is somebody who doesn't want know how to fly analog instruments. <laughs> and also I'm not really I don't really know how to properly fly helicopters, okay, a bit too fast. No gun? <laughs> Sorry, I don't see what did you what did you no gun, okay? Yeah. As some people say, if you want yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm not repeating this because this is a stupid uh, thing to say. Some people say if you want military planes, go fly DCS. But DCS doesn't have so uh, such nice views as this one. Yeah, DCS is 
very uh, it's a very good game but uh, if you just want to fly around uh, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to fly around military aircraft in MSFS um, low Oh, do you think so? Okay. <laughs> Let me try not to crash. Uh, well, uh, let me try to land, and then we'll then 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 uh, then, then, then we'll have a look at the different um, viewpoints. But I think, looking at the outside outside view, um, that it's uh, it's de it's definitely okay because I'm basically I'm pitched up uh, like uh, five degrees. This is five. So, um, <coughs> yeah, but I didn't, uh, I didn't change my viewpoints, uh, I didn't change my, uh, my seating arrangements yet, so maybe, uh, so maybe that's why. Okay, sorry, I had to, I had to, uh, go up a little bit because I started talking and not uh, flying and now I'm too fast on the approach and I'll not be able to kill the speed fast enough yeah so let's Kill the speed and go on, go go reverse. How much did we miss? Not too much. Okay. Oh, here she is. Okay, I'll not be trying to make any specific approach. I'll just try. To, uh, I'm just trying to uh, to land at all an, on the carrier. No specific positioning. No specific. Ah, too close to the bridge. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm hovering, or actually flying above the deck. Let's try to get not knocked out by the. Yeah, I'm too close, definitely. As I said, flying. Okay, oh, uh, this, is, this, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, 
Okay, I should have uh, just... Uh, okay, let me just... Ah, this was a crash. <laughs> yeah, this was too fast. Let's try, let's try. Couldn't find valid airport data at this couldn't find valid airport data at this position. Services are not available. Let's try this again. Well, definitely I'm overcorrecting on the joystick. Uh let mm, I don't know if the tablet can be hidden. Yeah, there is a click spot to hide the tablet, but I wonder if... I wonder about one thing. Oh, this is actually something which is better than the... Um, uh, how's it called? A, a high performance group Airbus because um, I have a, a second screen and a third screen and a fourth screen <laughs> screens all around one two three actually three screens and st and three stream decks um, on the high performance group Airbus H145 and H160 uh, you can uh, flip the tablet on the side but then it turns off because this is uh, connected to some um, some LVAR. So if you pop this tablet out to, a, to an external screen, uh, the external screen goes dark as well. But this I just checked. I, I pop this out. I can actually maybe I can show it on the, uh, on the stream. No, this is not this one. This one. Okay, so you should see it uh, in the stream now as well. You can see it. Uh, you can see it in the stream now, right? The tablet. Yeah. Okay. And when I click it away, it's still there. So I can I can still go onto my second screen, click it, do everything. Yeah, so this is this is this is definitely this is definitely a very good. Uh, I don't know what this does. Show GPS handheld. Let's see if they have anything in the documentation about this. Oh, uh, we wanted to um, to have a look at the rotor positions. Okay, so this is no, this is not the default um, pilot position. Uh, the default pilot position was something like this. <coughs> okay, so let's go through the startup again. I'll just be going through power startup. Okay, this time I should find... Uh, I, I couldn't find the engine starter before. Hi Rubicon. Yeah, see, I couldn't find the engine starter before. Uh, it's here because this uh, the 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 FADEC, um, dial is obstructing. The, uh, I I couldn't see it. <coughs> okay, so let's go again. Battery on. Caution light switch test, which is on the center panel. Let's go to bright. Let's go back to the. Okay, uh, overhead is under 4 on the default key binds. APU switch to run. APU switch to start. Okay, let me do something in the meantime before. Because I use um, the pop-out panel manager, so let me go to the pop-out panel manager and pop this instrument, pop, pop the tablet out, so I can uh, use it. Um, yeah, I need I need some way to display the instruments um, 
on my secondary screen or tablet because I'm blind. Um, pop out panel. Where is the pop out? Okay, pop out panel manager. New uh, new profile CH47D. Accept and let me add a panel. Identify source location. This is come on loading camera view. Again, no. I need to I need to do this pop out again and now I should be able to use the touch screen <coughs> to manipulate the tablet otherwise I need to do it via mouse clicks okay yeah, it always takes some time before it kicks in. Resetting camera view, pop out has been completed. Now I put it back on the thingy. It's a little bit annoying in the stream view probably. Yeah, it doesn't really doesn't really work correctly. I still need to click it. It doesn't accept it doesn't accept touch input for some reason. Maybe it's the screen which is not working. Yeah, nope. It does accept the touch input, but not correct, not completely. Let's see, do we have some settings here? No. Yeah, so let's just leave it for now on the, on the screen. And get rid of the oh yeah okay I forgot one let's see ah okay yeah touch enabled I should have clicked okay doors are closed fuel let's leave it like this okay let's go back to the uh, startup Power startup. Okay, caution light. Oh, APU started. APU generator. Switch on. Is the APU actually already started or not yet? I don't think so. APU on. Okay. APU on. APU generator on. Hydraulic power transfer switch. I think both of them on. Mm, parking brake set. <coughs> FADEC backup power, uh, backup power, backup power on. Engine controls levers both on st uh, condition, not controls. Yep, fan switch both on. Okay. Oh, no, only the, the doors should be closed. Okay, left main fuel pump on. Fuel cross with it open. Engine condition lever one. Ground, come on. Start engine two, uh, one on. <coughs> yeah, and let's see. No, I don't think that. Uh, see how the rotors uh, are rotating. So I think the, 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 the pilot view is correct in this, see? 
there are, there are long rotors, so... Okay... Oil pressure, monitoring oil pressure... spinning and we wait uh, for the transmission pressure to go above the red line which will be more than 7 psi <coughs> and after it passes we can go on to here and no Come on, no! Ah, to f put it to flight. Yeah, uh, somehow the mouse is uh, not uh, reacting. Okay, so engine condition lever 2 to ground. Start engine 2. And look for the secondary oil transmission pressure. Let's change it to aft. It doesn't react. Mix left, right. This is temperature. So let's put it to flight. Engine generator two on. Oh, I forgot. To. APU generator off. APU come on off. Fuel pumps all on. Let's look for the power steering switch, because now I'm interested how do I taxi with this. Which one is it? No, this is cargo release, this is center of the virus release, no, this is not it. Parking brake, this is this one, cabin air. should be some switch which allows me to disconnect the pedals uh, from uh, see because when I yeah when I use the pedals now the whole uh, aircraft moves
Ah. Ah, okay, so this is... Oh, because it's the back wheel. Okay. Yeah, so we can taxi now. Differential braking even works here. I do have some FPS problems in the outside view. Oh, I wanted to get rid of the tablet. Okay, parking brake set. So maybe let's get rid of the tablet from the Streamlabs display. Okay, uh, one thing I wanted to check. Okay, so the, pos the head position, let's see if I, no, 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 let's go back. So this is the default position which I have at the moment. Let's see, the default position, the default position was something like this. I changed it to this one. Let's see what happens if... I go... How do I go back? Um, no, this is this one. Ah, here. Okay, if I go a little bit to the back, but not so much. How does it look now? Okay, I think this is, yeah, it's a little bit better for the field of view, but it, but <laughs> much worse for my instrument panels. So I cannot really fly without any instruments. But hell yeah, this is a very nice, very nice aircraft. I love it. Just need to learn. Just need to learn to fly it. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. Somebody will tell me why e apps why I have the e apps fail warning. Why I have the e apps fail? Is this, is this because I have the doors closed? Oh, okay. This wasn't in the start guide. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check documentation do EF's engine fan pre-start are supposed to be closed <coughs> uh, yep it's only fan switch both on but it doesn't say about the doors so yeah the doors have to be on have to be open obviously as well. well. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, maybe a US Army helicopter on a Royal Navy carrier isn't really a good view. Okay, so let's try. <sighs> For this I need to open the, the in-game map, I think, otherwise I won't be able to find it. The carrier group is somewhere here, as far as I remember. Let's make this panel smaller and out of the way. You shouldn't even see it. 
Yeah, I have I I have a bigger screen than I'm actually showing on the on the stream. So ah, okay. Yeah. So oh, okay. I know where it is now. So parking brake off, tow brakes. Why do I have the feeling that I'm okay? Yeah, and even without weather, I cannot really control this. Okay, let's... This was a very unsafe... Takeoff. Early vertical speed. And let's try to go to the other carrier group. Yeah, I need I need some other uh, or the, some way to display the instruments on my tablet. Actually, I have an idea. It's not connected to the simulator. Yeah, this would actually help me a lot if I could do it like this. Go back. Settings. Go back. Data source. Flight simulator. Dismiss. Okay. Okay. I think I need to uh, close the sim. And actually try to... Uh, yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea. Because really with this setting, I don't see... I don't see the instruments. I'm blind. I'm, I'm a little bit blind, so... Uh, Trim isn't really okay. Let's try completely hands off. Reduce, collect it a little bit. A little bit more. Do 
we have a Humvee on board? No, we want to have a Humvee on board. And externally, let's also have a Humvee. Oh no, this is not... No, how do I reset this? Oh, come on, come on. Oops. No, 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 no. only want an internal one. External we need to go actually to the um, <coughs> go to hover and actually pick up the external road. I'll test it later on. She's behaving a little bit different now after I loaded up the Humvee. More sluggish on the controls than before, but also not so overreacting. Okay, how are we on the carrier? Where is the carrier? I'll definitely crash on the carrier. We are at 100 knots, so let's go a little bit faster. Reduce or no, actually now a little bit more power. A little bit less power. the carrier group. Where is the carrier group? Yeah, I'm either going too fast, have a, a too, too big climb speed, too, too high uh, descent speed, Flying helicopters is new for me, so... So I'll probably crash. the carrier. Okay, uh, the sand speed is too high. Let's level up a little bit. So generally my speed is much too high. Carrier group should be somewhere here. Why can't I see it? Ah! Okay. There she is. Why, did, why, why, why can't I see her outside my window? Ah, okay. Level... LOD settings. LOD settings. Probably something... Uh, yeah, something changed my LOD and out. Uh, see, there is the carrier. There she is, but I am on uh, too steep approach, uh, too steep uh, angle, and I'll probably crash now. Okay, let's go down on the speed. I'm too fast. I'm way, way, way too fast. More than 120 knots. I'm going. Okay. Let's keep this like 
this. Okay. And let's try to too much power now. Okay. Let's try to keep the approach like this. This is even a smaller carrier than before. So this will be very tricky to actually land on her, because I, I, I only have this one spot <coughs> on the back. The uh, American class. Okay, too much power, I'm going back up again. again. Okay, there is the carrier. Let's try this, maybe it will work. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we have... Stabilize. Actually, if I could... If I could see at least the, the little ship there. Yeah, the instruments are not really in a good position for this. Uh, what won't happen? No, 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 wrong button. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's pick up some speed. There is the carrier. Ah, here is one of the support. Ah, here is the. Oh, okay, so I'm... Okay, I'm on the wrong... I'm on the wrong side. Eh. Oh, but this is not a moving carrier, so I can actually... Doesn't matter, really. Okay, so let's try to kill all... Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. See her in okay, I'm descending, slowing down a little bit more.
I pass the carrier. <clears throat> I'm definitely way too fast now. This is the perfect position to be in. Okay, so let's try it like this. Fast, too fast. Come on. Come on, I need to slow down. Okay, 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 stop! This isn't even a moving carrier. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, okay. Hovering, hovering, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Stop the movement. Huh. Barely. Okay, finish for now. <laughs> I need to fit. I, I I need to fiddle up uh, or uh, figure out how I can um, change the instruments uh, so I can see actually any uh, readouts. Okay, this is this is my this is my default view now, which is perfect. But I don't. But I cannot see any instruments. I'm a little bit blind. I cannot really move too close closer to the monitor at the moment yeah so uh thanks for tuning in anyway bye bye